Aspen, Colorado, USA, with its four outstanding ski and snowboarding resorts, and being a year-round playground to the rich and famous, is known worldwide as a world-class ski town. Aspen's also a world-class party town, a place where people from all over the world come to enjoy their vacations, and where locals are always part of the fun. With large numbers of people celebrating and having fun, some of them will celebrate too much, frequently with fatal consequences. So it became necessary for a program to prevent accidents. In this case, being easy to spend money with means getting drunks off the road, even if those intoxicated drivers don't literally spend money in the process. In 1982, then Pickin County Deputy Sheriff Ellen Anderson covered an accident with two fatalities and seven injury, which really got to her. That tragedy was 100% avoidable, said Anderson. Drunk driving is totally avoidable if you keep the driving separate from the drinking, and she figured out a way to do it. She created Pickin County and Aspen's Tipsy Taxi Service, a way to give people who drink too much and don't have someone to drive them or money for a cab a way to get home without endangering other people. If someone isn't in shape to drive home, any police officer or bartender, like Eli Trivik, can call a tipsy taxi. They have vouchers they can give cab drivers, which are used to reimburse taxi companies for the ride. If a person receiving the ride's car is ticketed or towed away, tipsy taxi pays for the tow. And the town of Aspen waves the ticket. If someone at a party is not in shape to drive and can't get a ride home, the host can call the police and they will authorize a tipsy taxi. Because housing is very expensive in and near Aspen, workers commute long distances. Tipsy Taxi has given rides as far as 70 miles from Aspen to people's homes in Rifle, Colorado. Tipsy Taxis aren't special taxis. The program works with all licensed cab companies in Aspen. According to a study by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, published in 2000 on Aspen's Tipsy Taxi, the total year-round population of all of Pickin County is approximately 27,400 residents. Pickin County is in an area of high risk for impaired driving. Among Colorado's 63 counties, Pitkin ranks first in retail alcohol sales and drinking establishments, and second in retail sales in liquor stores. There are more residents, bars, and liquor stores now. The program is operated out of the Pitkin County Sheriff's Department using no taxpayer dollars. It's financed through fundraisers, donations to Tipsy Taxi at the Pitkin County Treasurer, 506 East Main Street, Aspen 81611, and court fees assessed for people who don't use it and were arrested for driving while impaired. After almost 32 years with Tipsy Taxi, Aspen still parties, but the program has taken tens of thousands of impaired drivers off the road, according to Ellen Anderson. It's lowered the annual Pitkin County fatality rates for accidents caused by drunk drivers from 6 to 8 per year to 0 to 1, and it's had another major effect to people in Pickin County. It's also lowered the number of non-fatal DUI accidents, which can destroy lives as well as property. Please send your examples of being hard or easy to spend money with and getting your message across to Nick Eisenberg at Comcast.net and put examples in the subject line. And check out my blog, easy to spend money with.com for more stories on being easy to spend money with and getting your message across. If you'd like me to speak to your business or organization, call me at 970-945-8936 or email me at Nick Eisenberg at Comcast.net. Eisenberg is spelled I S E N B E R G and put speak to me in the subject line or easy to spend money with dot com Nick Eisenberg Glenwood Springs Colorado